it's Holly again. I have another diamond art kit to show you from Diamond Art Club. I just got her maybe two weeks ago and she came so fast. Like I bought her on a Saturday and she was at my house by I think Thursday or Friday. So they ship so quick, I love it. Anyway, um, so I have another one of those to show. And then I've got my two that I've been working on, the Alice and the Mermaid one that I have. I'll show you the pro progress that I've made on those two. Not a lot of progress because I've been doing other little crafts and stuff, but I do have some progress to show you guys on that. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox her. I've taken the plastic cellophane off um, just because it kind of gets annoying with the crinkling on the camera. So I did take that off, but I have not unboxed her. So without further ado, and this one's a square one. So you can tell by this little symbol here that she's a square. I still haven't tried the square ones yet because I'm waiting to finish my other two. And the other square one I have is the nut, a nutcracker one, um, but I just haven't, haven't uh, started her yet. So I probably won't start this one either for a little bit because I really do need to finish the other two before I break out another one. But they keep making the cutest, beautiful, art painting kits and I just can't pass them up. Anyway, so this one is called Venus and it's a little bit of a shine, sorry about that. My light is kind of shining on her. And this is by Roy, I think Trin, T-R-I-N-H. And the size is 22 inches by 33 inches. So yeah. All right, and then on the side, as usual, they have a scan me where you can get 10% off. They have on the back, they've got how to do diamond paintings. And yeah, so, all right. Let's open her up. Hope that y'all have been doing well. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's really in there. <laughs> Let me take out the... All right, we've got the tool kit here. I'll get to that in just a second. We have the little sticker. And you can use this however you want to. You can put it at the bottom of the box. So if you store them that way, the box is in your closet or whatever, you can see that on the end better. So you can just pull it out. Um, I use mine a different way and I'll bring that out. I've showed it on my channel a couple of times now, but it's just a little diamond art journal and I put that in there. Okay, and here's the actual, here she is. I will try to adjust the camera here. Let me just pour everything out here. I think I got everything out. All right, I'm gonna put this box aside here. Okay, let's go through the tool kit real quick. So here's the tool kit. I'm gonna to open that up. Now we're never. <laughs> Can't go back now. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Oh, I already looked at it. Dang it, I like to su get surprised of what the little diamond cover is for the, not the diamond cover, sorry. It's called the cover minder. Oh, it's so pretty, you're gonna love it. Okay, so let's just go through this really quick. Here is your, where you put your drills. The drill tray has a little stopper on it, which I love, so they don't go all over the place. You have your little pen here. This one's blue, and it comes with a little gripper. Just put that on there. I'm not gonna do it right now because I have to pull it on, but just so it doesn't hurt your fingers as much. Got that. We have the tweezers in this one because this one is a square. The nice tweezers. They're actually, I think they're metal actually. So if you see that, take the little top off. This one's cool. All right, and we have their trademark little heart wax. I use this in a lot of my photos now because <laughs> I think it's so cute. It comes with two. You take off the little piece there, the little film on top. 
before you use it. And it comes with a little lid here so you can cover it up. You got your little plastic baggies to hold all your drills. I don't really use these. Um, I, I think I've showed this on my channel before, but I'm gonna show you guys the storage container that I use for holding all the drills. Okay, and then we got the, wa the wax, <laughs> the washi tape. This is really pretty. It's got little flowers on it. I actually don't really use this for my diamond paintings, but you guys definitely can. Um, I know some people like to tape it off into sections. I don't do that, but you do you with that. All right, we've got two little um, things to put on the applicator, the pen, you just take this off and then you can put these on. So if you wanna do, it's called a multi-placer, you can do it that way. I'm kind of a one dot girl. I don't use these, but I'm sure you can go a ton faster by doing that. I just, I don't know, I'm probably doing it wrong, but um, I don't like to like try to line them all up in the tray, like shaking them and then putting them on. Like I do that for just one dot and just do that. But that takes a lot longer. So <laughs> definitely, you know, try the other method if you wanna go faster. Okay, here is the cover minder. Ah, oh, I love it. It's a little rose. Love these. This is so cute. It's got the little magnet on the back and you pull the paper back, the plastic paper on the diamond painting and then you take the magnet like that to hold it back so it doesn't get in your way. But like I've said in other videos, I use these actually for cross stitching. We call them needle minders to put our needles on them. So I've got a little collection going now. This is so pretty. My daughter's probably gonna try to steal this from me because she loves roses. <laughs> That's a really pretty. All right, let's get to opening the actual painting. So I'm just gonna move all this stuff back here, give us some more room. Okay, and I'm gonna, sorry if this make anyone sick, but I'm gonna lift this up just a tiny bit. All right. So, sorry for the noise here. This is another big one <laughs> that I always seem to get. Okay. Woo! All right. Holy cow, look at all these. <laughs> look at all these pretty colors. Hopefully you guys can see that okay and there's not too much of a glare going on. So pretty. All right, so in here we have another sticker. It's got all the colors, your color legend here. It's got a picture of the final or the original painting, start date, end date. And I put this in, let's grab it. I put this in here, which is just a collection of all the ones that I've started. There's one in here that I haven't started, but I have her in here anyway, because I already opened her up and I just wanted not, I didn't want to lose the stickers, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is an older one, so I had to write start date, end date, but the newer ones come with start date, end date, so I love that. So if you wanna see the rest of these box openings, they're on my channel here. They're just a few videos back, so. Uh, this is the mermaid. Uh, her name is Daydreaming. And then I put it here on the back. And I didn't put the other ones in here yet that I have but I will be putting her in there. Okay. All right, let's open this up. Let me get a little, a little more room here because she is big. Okay, let's see, where am I starting from here? Is this the, oh, this is the bottom. Okay, <laughs> I will try to fit her on here. Um, let me move one more little thing out of the way. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Okay, I'm still seeing a bad glare. Let me um, 
Well, it's all right. It's just my light. Not much I can do about it, because then otherwise you won't, it'll be super dark in here. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, let me just show you the bottom here really quick. It's got a picture of the final right here. It has how big she is, 22 inches by 33 inches. This is the artist. It's copyrighted. Here is the information about the Facebook page, Instagram. All right, so this is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get that glare off for just a second. I'll be right back. I'm back. I turned off um, one of my lights and I opened the, the windows up so hopefully you guys can still see. So that'll help with the glare. It's just because it has this plastic cover on it so I could probably pull that off a little bit, but anywho. All right, so. This is the bottom here, and I'll kind of slowly move her through here so you can see. It's so pretty. This one's really tall. <laughs> this is probably, I think this is, I have to look at the other dimensions on the other ones, but um, I think this is the biggest one I might have done. I think Alice might be the other way, but she is at the landscape and not portrait. She is so pretty. Hopefully you guys can still see her here. Let me move this a little out of the way. Love it. super detailed. Okay, so we have the legend here on the side and the same one is down here in this corner. You can't see it right now, but in the on the right-hand side here, she's there's also one there. It's exact same as this one. Okay, so let's take a look. So there is looks like 1 2 3 4 5 6 I think there's wait, 1 2 Okay, maybe there's only two. I think there might be only two ABs, and those stand for Aurora Borealis. So they're super crystally, super sparkly, more than the other drills. Little uh, diamonds. So we will look at this. Let me open this up. Hopefully you guys got a good look at her. Okay. So let's look at these. And I'm gonna turn my light back on. Oh, actually, let me, um. Let me open this up and get the glare off of a little bit. Sorry about the crinkly. I know some people like it, some people don't. <laughs> I'm one of those that doesn't like it. Oh, geez. Okay. Here we go. Holy cow. Okay, let's... These all... Do one little. Do one little um, section of time here. Okay, let me turn my light back on. Okay, so I just go through. I'm not going to go through every number here, but these ones are the super sparkly ones. This is 141. Beautiful. I'll just kind of go through the colors. I'm not sure they're actually coming on the camera very well, but I will let you know when another super sparkly one comes up. I believe there's only two. And I'll have to look at the chart here to see where they're at. I'm sure there's some in her eyes and just um, the little I call pixie dust <laughs> around her. So pretty. Lots of browns and blues here and definitely some reds as well. There is a lot. There is 59 colors. So here's a nice purple and some blues. Oh, there's even some really bright orange here. Move these over here. 
When you go through these, you definitely can spot the ones that are the ABs without even looking at the number because they're just, they just stand out. <laughs> they're just so pretty. I love this color. It's $4.98. Now I'm sure you already know this, but these colors coordinate with the chart for DMC floss. Um, and I use a lot of that floss because I do cross-stitching. So you might be familiar with some of these colors with the numbers. Okay. All right, here's the AB right here. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it red? I have never, I, I haven't used this color at all yet. 115, as far as I know. That is so pretty, I love it. We'll have to see where that one is too on the chart. Okay, one more, more little section here. Try not to do it upside down, but really, really pretty colors, really rich colors. I would say these are more like, yeah, more rich, rich color. I think that's probably a good word for them. Okay, let's look at the A, Bs and where they're at in these, this chart here. So we got 115 and that is a one. So there's a lot here in her hair. Let me turn the light out again. There's a lot here. There's quite a few actually. So up in here, and down here, I believe that's like some kind of hair. I don't know if it's an actual, actual hair. I think it might be something that's in her hair, like the headband here has it. And this is just like some hair decorations going on. So that has a lot of ones down here too. I think on her, I think this is part of her dress here. There's a lot of ones. So there'd be a lot of ABs in here. And the other color is 141 and it's a little white dot and there's a lot also here like almost looks like a halo around her head so there's a lot of ones here and then there's a bunch um, of the little dots here and the flowers there's a lot here this whole section right here is ABs that's gonna be beautiful it's a big chunk of ABs <laughs> I've never seen such a big chunk on the ones that I've done have not been like that so far. Um, where else? I think, oh, there's a big chunk up here. This is all ABs. Yeah, so this is gonna be so sparkly. There's a lot. There's a little bit down here, a little bit down here of the, um, the number, what was it, 141 down here. So yeah, it's gonna be really beautiful. I love it. And again, her name is Venus. And I think there's been Mercury. There might have been another one. I tried to get Mercury, uh, gosh, like a month ago or whatever it was. I have not been able to grab her. I don't, I, I'm on the email list for the restock, but I haven't seen her. She might have come through and I missed it. But I actually really love this one. I think she's beautiful. Where I'm gonna put it, I have no idea. <laughs> the other two, I have places for where those are going. The Alice is actually going here in my craft room above my closet in here. And then the mermaid is actually gonna go, I think I mentioned this, that it's going into my bathroom. I have a mermaid kind of aerial bathroom at my house. Surprise, surprise, right? <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at, um, the storage units that I use. And I'm gonna turn my light back on. So this is the storage unit I've been using. Well, I just got this one maybe a month and a half ago, two months ago. Um, my original one, let me grab it. Should 
grab that one. This is the one I'm using for Alice. I think I've showed it on my channel before. Let me pop this up just a tad. Sorry about that. This is the original one that I had. It's a single layer of storage containers. I always seem to open this the wrong way. Okay. So this is what I have. So all of these are for my Atlas um, diamond paint and I've labeled all of them. Now I haven't put this in numerical order. I just kind of throw them in, <laughs> which probably is better if you put them in numerical order so you can find them quicker. But you know, I'm kind of lazy about that. But they did come with labels. I don't know if I have any extras. There might be some extras in this one, but they come on a little sheet and they have the little labels and you know, probably don't have to explain this, but you just stick them on here and then write the number, the coordinates with the legend that's on the diamond painting. So I've had this for a year and a half. Whenever I, well, gosh, yeah, about a year and a half. Um, and it's single layer. I wanted to get a double one though because I wanted to put two more diamond paintings in one uh, storage unit. But this one comes with all the storage containers. Let me pull one out. Comes with all this. And then it comes with quite a few accessories. Now, some of these are from actually my diamond paint, but it comes with lots of trays, comes with extra pen applicators here, um, comes with more wax, It'll show you on Amazon what it comes with. And this one's a black and purple one. And let me show you again, the double layered one. I would highly recommend if you're gonna get into this that you should get the, the double layer. So this one has other colors that it comes in as well. I just liked the butterfly print. And this is also from Amazon. I will put the links below. So this is the double. So I've got the mermaid one all here on top and then you pull this out and I have another one on the bottom. This one I have on the bottom, I have not shown on my channel yet. I will show it maybe pretty soon. Um, but yeah, so I like to have two paintings going on here if I can. Now this one doesn't have all the colors in it. It would not fit because I have the mermaid one in here. but majority of them are in here. This is a huge diamond painting, this one here, that I have not shown yet. So it won't fit. If I had, didn't have these, then it would fit just fine, but you know. <laughs> I already have the mermaid one all ready to go. Um, so it comes also, again, with like the funnels for putting it all in there. These are my scissors. Um, here's what the labels look like when they come in the little sheets. So they have these in there. So plenty of labels. And yeah, so my stuff's just kind of, my trays and stuff are all mixed up. I need to organize this a little better probably. Um, but yeah, love this. Take it with me. My daughter has class and stuff and in the evening sometimes I just take it to Starbucks with me. I've got this, my diamond painting in a bag and I'm off to the races, I just go. And it's awesome. I've had people come up and ask me what I'm doing. <laughs> it's kind of a fun conversational piece. All right, actually, you know what is funny? I had two little boys come up to me. Well, they're little to me. They're, they're probably like, I don't know, 13 and 14. Such polite boys. They came up to me and go, what are you doing? And I know all about it. And I told them it was diamond painting and they were so cute. They're like, oh, are those real diamonds? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I wish they were, but they were, but they were so sweet. Um, so people definitely come up and ask like what you're doing and it's just like a good conversational piece. So it's fun. All right. So let me show you the progress on my other two. Like I said, not a ton of progress. I probably haven't worked on her in maybe, I don't know, maybe a week and a half. Okay. So this is the mermaid one. This is daydreaming by Sarah Mustafa. And again, I have her um, unboxing that I did uh, like a few weeks ago. All right, so I'm gonna pull this back. This is the progress I've made with her. So I have this little spot done, some of her hair here, and then down here in the water. So not a lot, but she is coming along. So pretty, I'm really enjoying this one. Okay. 
her back. Like I said, these are so portable. I don't know if I would do it in the car necessarily. Um, I think if you had a small one, it'd be okay, but I would just be so worried again, the bump and it would just like go everywhere. <laughs> That's what would happen to me. <laughs> but other places, you know, other things that works just fine. Okay, so here's my Alice. Let me pull the sheet back here, there's my glare. So I've definitely made some good progress on her. Um, sorry about the noise. So all this is done. I'm almost to the her eye here. I've got all her dress pretty much done except for this little place right here. Uh, but yeah, she, so she's, the majority of Alice is done and then I can move on to the Van Gogh area, the Starry Night. And again, this is Alice in Starry Night by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Again, it's another Diamond Art Club. And I've had her for quite a while, but I took a break from diamond painting for quite a while. So um, I just got back into it a few months ago. My neighbor and I started doing it. And so anyway, she is awesome. I love her. The ABs are right here, right? Uh, I don't know where they are going to be over on that side, but right now they're here. And in her eyes, she has a few. So yeah, she's been a lot of fun. And I just roll these up, you guys, and take them, and it does not hurt them. I have had no diamonds pop off, none. So, okay. So I showed the journal. Oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about one little thing. Um, besides doing this, now I can't show you the app. I will show a picture somewhere around here, but I've actually been using the, um, the app called Gems Flow. Um, I don't know if they have it on Android. I have an iPhone, but I've been using that to uh, uh, record all my progress. So um, check it out, it's really fun. You just like put a picture into it and then every time you work on it, you just put how many hours and it keeps track of how many hours it took you to do and complete a diamond painting. Um, you know, the trick is to remember <laughs> to actually open it up and, and put in the time, but I've been pretty good about doing it. So um, I feel like it works really well. You don't have to do that. Um, you can just put a picture in it, put the start date, and then um, you can put like uh, all the information that I do in here, you know, like it's diet, it's around uh, the size, how much you paid for it, stuff like that. So I will snap a, a picture. I can't show you right here on my phone because I use my iPhone for recording, but it's something definitely to check out. Okay, I think that is it for today. I don't think I have anything else to share. So I will be back soon. I did finish my drawing. I don't know if you guys saw it, but the uh, video right before this, I did finish my drawing. My friend should be getting it either today or tomorrow. I'm so excited for her to see it. I think her daughter's gonna um, open it up and she's gonna video it and send it to me. So um, as soon as that is, if she's seen it and it's you know all done with that, then I can put it up on Instagram. But. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and take good care and I hope you get some diamond painting in. Talk to you later. Bye.